Righto, just left Lion's Den, nice night there, had pizza, wasn't too bad. Pretty quiet little campground, nice and flat. Uh, very good, a few beers. We're heading to Lakelands now, Richfield Lakelands and Laura. I think it's all bitumens, we've all pumped up. Uh, Laura then on to Old Coach Road. It's our last uh, good track. Yeehaw. Pretty cool part of the world out here. Still on the way to uh, Lakelands, but just, yeah. So from Lion's Den, I think it's 110, is it? To Laura. So 50 to Lakeland and another 60 to Laura. But yeah, pretty nice drive. Nice roads. Nice scenery. Coach Road. About to go to play. We're all ready to rock and roll, just let tyres down. Doing a bit of basic maintenance, getting some dust out of the car. James will be just trying to keep his going, so that's what happens with the barra. And Pedro up the back, ready to rock and roll. Apparently this is the hardest and most dangerous track on Cape York, but we'll work it out later. So the first part of Old Coach Road puts you into a uh, false sense of security, I think. The road's really good. How's the colour of that sky? It's wicked. Uh, this road goes out to that Jawal Binna uh, rock art place, um, which is a camp there, but it's actually closed, as you'll see in a minute. Whoops. A lot of these pretty little creeks around the place, eh? Very nice. So we worked out the roads are reasonably well maintained on this Old Coach Road up until that Joel Binner Rock Art Safari Camp and after that they started to deteriorate. Nice little creek. So we've gone past the Jalbina and now we're just on Old Coach Road proper. As you can see there, like the uh, old telly track, every time there's a rutted out section or gets a bit hard to go through, people have just put new tracks in around the tricky bits. So there's a way around all this. You can drive it quite easily. We chose to drive a few of the fun bits because they're fun and that's what we're there for. But uh, yeah, you can quite easily avoid them. How big's that drop off there, Steph? Like a real slow 
<laughs> That's a good fun little bit. We did the try to do the original track where we can. Some of it you can't, it's just overgrown with trees and shit, but oh see there's a bit there you could probably do, but so many new tracks here. Close to what? That's oh, the panel. Yeah. I'll go forward a bit more, stay. Goodness. You only go back too far because you're back to go. If you just want sort to of go, maybe it's this straight now. Sort of straight at that. You need a little bit of a gas now. Steer up a little bit. Go, bouncer up. Yep, go, go, go. Pedal it, pedal it. Step up here, push a few buttons in. So the biggest problem I've with the big girl seems to be the uh, physical size of it and how wide apart the doors are. straight into it, another little rocky climby thing just like the telly track, there's that many bypass tracks on them so it's a bit hard to tell but looks like we're going on the left one by the looks of it just hold up you gonna walk up there baby just park up here and get out easier 
voilà. I don't think this right one was actually a track was it? I think the one we're on now is probably the track. Lumpy one? Oh dear. Don't know if the big girl will do it. What'd you have for snakes, baby? Mum's got out to walk, mum doesn't like these hills. Might go for a look, eh? I should have bought my yellow truck. <laughs> little fun hills here might have a complaint about the 62 I've got many complaints about it but the throttle's too light in low range well Navarro was bad for that too what's Jimbo dodging up there baby what's there on your right Karen this is a cool place isn't it I hope this video will come to it okay from the wind from the phone on the wind screen
pretty cool, isn't it? What I've been doing every now and again, Bob, is I just take a photo while I'm videoing, I can just press the button and take the photo as well, which I only learnt the other day. So I've got some cool photos as well. What's that rocky thing over there? Look at that rock bounced up there. Let's we'll see if we can get a good. Straight look at it. How's that from the trees? How's the gap come up just there? Is there somewhere or? Two to reckon. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's that? Rock on the side of the hill, wow. Yeah. No real choice of line here, have you? No, it might be a bit jumpy, but I'll let you know if it gets too bad. Where do we go now? Up there, do we? No, he keeps going, but where we were parked, no one else could like get up. Oh, so what's this, which line? Where's the road go? That left, is it? No, you keep going straight. Oh, does it? Yeah. Should we go around that way or up that way? Yeah, old coach road's definitely slow. So. Once you get off that good road, it's like this for ages, which is pretty cool if this is what you're into. Just to make sure we're on the right track still, because there's, I like the telly track, there's all bypasses and shit going everywhere. Looks like we are according to the HEMA. Anyway. Have yeah, a look at that sky. The boys have just said, remove your sunnies and have a look at the sky. That is truly very nice. Look. Look at the road, Average speed through this part of the track is probably about not even 20 kilometers an hour, I reckon. So it's probably about the fastest we've been, and that's nearly 30.
So I reckon the next big grassy patch we find with one big tree of shade that we all fit under, we should stop at. You right, go Pedro. Is he going to radio on? He must be out here. It's worth taking your time through this area and have a having a good look round. Leaves are big rocks that look really cool up in the bush, and the cuttings that they cut out of hills to get the coach road through is uh, quite amazing. The amount of work they would have had to do back then with no uh, no machinery. Car, so if you're away from the crew, you can do a bit of outside car filming, and if you break down, you can film that. And also, everyone's got to buy a drone, and uh, when you crash it, I'll laugh, crash it, I'll laugh at you for crashing it, and I'll call you the pussy for not if you don't fly it far away from you. Did anyone bring a drone? I'm flying it so you don't get one, and you pay for it, and then if you don't fly far away, I'll call you the pussy. And then if you crash it, I'll laugh at you. Someone should have bought a drone, eh? It would have been good on this trip. Mate, who's to say what, eh? Who's to say what, mate? I'll fly away, and I'll have one back home. Well, it's right in the driveway. Yeah. No, I'm going to drop it. Right, he's looking too scared. I wish someone bought a drone. Imagine drone up right now in this footage, looking at the cars with their big dominated winches going through the trees. So cool. Oh, have you got one? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a drone since I uh, took that middle muffler out, I've got a big drone, it's pretty good. 